What happened to Diego is just terrible. It's no wonder you want to block it out of your mind. No, no, I don't want to block it out. I want to remember. Well, honey, don't you think that is very unwise? He's dead. You can't bring him back. The case is closed. So is it... Look, I... Just put it behind you, Margot, please. I can't do that. I've got to remember. I've got to remember what happened. I might have se seen something. Seen what? What do you think you saw? I don't know. What happened to the gun? What happened to the gun? The gun? What? Nobody saw what happened to the gun. What makes you think that you saw it? Because I should, because it's my job, because I should, should see that. <sighs> Honey, this is terrible. You've got to put this behind you, this, this whole thing. There's nothing else you can do. It's just so damn frustrating. Look at you. It's making a wreck out of you. I You're... know, because it's so frustrating. I it's know, so but you should not put this pressure I know, on I you know like I this. I know I shouldn't. I can't either. force myself. Damn it! Adam! Look what you did! Look what you did! Now, didn't I tell you to leave it alone? No. Didn't I tell you? Excuse I me, didn't I, I tell you? Didn't you go on? You I, I say you have the orders to leave You're this going. alone? I'll be up there I can't I need time. I need time with your orders. That I was working. Hello. 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 Wait a minute. It's cool. Shh. It's cool. No, no, no. Now listen. These are little boys. They're just little children. This is a checkerboard. This is a game to them. That's all. Just a game. Oh, oh, what's the matter with me, Lisa? Oh, Why did I do dear. that to them? Shh. Oh. It's going to be all right, sweetie. It's going to be all right. When? When's it going to be all right? When's it going to be over? Oh. Please feel free. Good what morning. happened with Pilar? Oh, like brother, like sister. Send it to start. <laughs> Mental illness runs in the family. She lost her brother, Mrs. Walsh. I mean, it's her only family, from what I understand. What's the matter with you people? Her brother, her brother was a monster, a murderer, a terrorist. You know, horns, tail, Satan, all well, She has good memories of her brother. Good memories. What good memories? Memories of the embezzling or memories of the murders? Her memory is selective. Okay, can we get back to the question of Lily's She bail? is trying to whip up public opinion against Lily. I mean, have you read the tabloids? Have, have you seen them? Lily, she's, picked, she's pictured as if she's a demented debutante. And Pilar is a Greek heroine from a tragedy burying her brother's remains, whatever that play was, only the accent's different. Well, I feel sorry for Pilar. Why? Well, because she's in a strange country. She doesn't know anyone here. Well, excuse me. Lily's in a nasty, strange cell. Well, all right. Well, I feel sorry for both of them. Tom, please, I hope that you're not going to be taken in by a pretty face. I mean, the tabloids. It is so fashionable to, to beat up on the rich. I mean, it's trendy. It's marvelous. I hate it. If, if Lily were poor... I bet you we'd have women's groups coming out in her support, and where are they? I would like that. But no, because she's my daughter, and because she is the widow of the Grimaldi fortune, and all of that, she gets discriminated against. I think you're getting a little carried away. Well, maybe I am, all right. But I, why wouldn't I be? I have worked hard for everything that I've ever had. I know. And I have raised Lily to be a decent, caring girl. Uh, she is! <laughs> I mean, the character assassination. Have you read the papers? I have. All right. Furthermore, I am concerned that maybe somebody, you know, somebody ambitious, uh, will see this as an opportunity to ride the wave. That killer, Lily Grimaldi, you know, and put her away and rise up, up, up. I've been very sympathetic to Lily, so don't make me regret that. This is not helping, Lucinda. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just upset, and I think I have a right to be upset. I know you do, and I've told you where I stand. I've offered Lily a generous plea bargain. Very generous. I've told Jessica that I will not oppose bail. As far as oh. the rest of it goes, it's up to the judge. Okay. You have a telephone call. Thank you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hello, this is Tom Hughes. Tom, it's me. You better come home right away. What's happened? Well, it's Margot. I I'm very, very worried about her. She's, um, she's having another one of her attacks. Hey. 
How's she doing? She's she's doing a lot better, but I I have never seen her so distraught. So what happened? Well, she was trying to recreate the crime scene, you know, using the checkerboard, and the boys were pestering her about it. Uh, where are the boys? They're upstairs. Are they okay? Yes, they're worried about their mother, but they're all right. I, I just didn't want to leave her down here alone. But now that you're here, I'm going to go check Thanks, on them. Okay, sure. Got here. Are you having a kind of a tough time, huh? Yeah? I was so glad your mom was here. I was just awful. I was all I was screaming. I was yelling at Adam and Casey and, and, and... Well, hey. Everybody loses their temper, huh? Over a checkerboard? Yeah, mom said you were trying to recreate the crime scene. They probably think I'm crazy. Probably am. Honey, you did not kill Diego. I know this is hard for you, but you're gonna have to try and let this go. I can't. How can I do that, Tom? I could have been the one who killed him. But you were tossing and turning. It's kind of hard to sleep when you're afraid you're going to dream. I know what you're afraid of. But the shooting did not happen that way. And I'm not saying this because you're my wife. I'm saying it because I know you. You did not kill Diego. But I know Lily. I know she didn't do it. Well, I'm a little more concerned about you right now. But I wanted him dead, Tom. I did. I wanted him dead. This Diego, Humberto, whoever he is. I wanted him dead just as much as Lily did. I know, honey, but you're a cop, and you're a good cop. And you would do anything to prevent anyone's murder, even Diego's, if you could. But I, but I... Listen, I think Dr. Michaels is right about why we're having these PTS episodes. Yes, because I almost died in the plane crash. Yeah, it's fine, but I've been in tight situations before. Before, I've been in life-threatening situations, and I've never reacted like this. Well, honey, you got two kids. You got a lot. You have a lot to lose. And that's all the more reason to be angry, right? I suck. How can you rule out the possibility that I may have killed him? Honey, you didn't. Lily did. And I'm also very torn here, sweetie. I like this girl. And I'm gonna be the one that winds up sending her to prison. <laughs> 